this lecture we will understand sampling property of unit impulse signal. I will explain how we can sample the continuous time signals using the unit impulse signal. Let's take one arbitrary function. Let's take one arbitrary function xt. xt is having the waveform like this and we want xt only when time t is equal to tau. Let's say this is time t equal to tau and we want xt only when t is equal to tau and everywhere else it must be zero. Now the question is how we can obtain a new function which is equal to x of tau when t is equal to tau and which is equal to zero when t is not equal to tau. Let's call this function yt. So we need to obtain a new function yt using the function xt and if you remember all the elementary signals we have studied then the unit impulse signal delta t is equal to infinity when t is equal to 0 and it is equal to 0 when t is not equal to 0 and on comparing yt and delta t we can see they have some value at a particular time and when time is not equal to this particular time they are equal to 0. So there is some resemblance between these two signals but in the first case time t is equal to tau so we need the impulse we need the impulse when time t is equal to tau we need the impulse at this time and for this we will perform the time shifting we will perform the time shifting t minus tau so we have infinity when t is equal to tau and we have 0 when t is not equal to tau so to obtain yt we can use the unit impulse signal which is having the impulse when time t is equal to tau and I will multiply signal xt with the unit impulse signal to obtain the new signal yt. I will multiply xt with the unit impulse signal delta t minus tau and you can see delta t minus tau is equal to 0 when t is not equal to tau so we can say that xt multiplied with delta t minus tau is same as multiplying x of tau with delta t minus tau. Let's say x of tau, let's say x of tau is equal to capital A, x of tau is equal to capital A. So we have capital A multiplied with infinity. So we are going to get infinity which is not equal to x of tau and if you see signal yt when t is equal to tau yt is equal to x of tau or we can say a so we are not getting signal yt by simply multiplying x of t with delta t minus tau so we need to do something to obtain signal yt instead of simply multiplying xt with delta t minus tau we will integrate this product from minus infinity to tau plus we will integrate product of xt and delta t minus tau from minus infinity to tau plus I am taking tau plus here to include the impulse I am taking tau plus to include the impulse and we already know the property of unit impulse signal the integration from minus infinity to infinity delta t dt is equal to 1 the area the area is always equal to unity in case of unit impulse signal and in this case also when we integrate from minus infinity to tau plus the area the area of unit impulse signal is going to be 1 this means we have x of tau multiplied with 1 because integration from minus infinity to tau plus delta t minus tau dt is equal to 1 so we have x of tau we have x of tau and in this way we have the new signal yt yt is nothing but signal xt when time t is equal to tau 
दिस प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ यूनिट इम्पल्स सिग्नल इज नोन एज सैम्पलिंग प्रॉपर्टी और शिफ्टिंग दिस प्रॉपर्टी इज नोन एज सैम्पलिंग प्रॉपर्टी और शिफ्टिंग एस आई एफ टी आई एन जी यूजिंग दिस प्रॉपर्टी वी कैन सैम्पल आउट वैल्यू ऑफ एनी आर्बिट्रेरी फंक्शन एट एनी स्पेसिफिक इंस्टेंट ऑफ टाइम एट विच द इम्पल्स ऑकर्स लेट्स ट्राई टू सॉल्व वन एग्जाम्पल यूजिंग द सैम्पलिंग प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ यूनिट इम्पल्स सिग्नल आई विल टेक वन फंक्शन लेट्स से दिस फंक्शन is xt and this is the waveform of the function this is minus 2 0 2 1 2 and this time here is equal to 1 this time here is equal to 2 and this time is 3 and we need to obtain we need to obtain x of 1 to obtain x of 1 we will first we will first obtain delta t minus 1 which is equal to infinity when t is equal to 1 and it is equal to 0 when t is not equal to 1 then we will multiply x of t with delta t minus 1 which is same as multiplying x of tau with delta t minus 1 after this we will integrate from minus infinity to 1 plus we will integrate from minus infinity to 1 plus and we already know we already know the integration from minus infinity to 1 plus delta t minus 1 dt is equal to 1 the area under the impulse is always equal to unity so we can say that we have x of tau multiplied with 1 tau in this case is equal to 1 so we have x of 1 so we have sampled out value of signal xt when t is equal to 1 and for this we have multiplied xt with unit impulse signal having the impulse at time t equal to 1 and if we plot the wave form of the obtained result then it will look like this when time t is equal to 1 signal x of 1 is equal to 2 and uh, you can see we have simply obtained the discrete time signal from the continuous time signal using the unit impulse signal so we can obtain the discrete time signal from the continuous time signal by the help of unit impulse signal i hope this lecture is clear to you you now understand the sampling property of unit impulse signal if you have any doubt related to this property you may ask in the comment section i will end this lecture here see you in the next one